What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this run we take a little bit more of a long form approach but less than before and I do an unconventional Nyao bonus, I think that Nyao bonus kind of sets the tone for the whole run so since floor one it's already having adversity and having a lot of decisions but then it ends up being a very, uh, I don't know how to say, it turns into a classic setup deck and with a whole bunch of curses to boot. We had a good time, we were messing around, we made a couple mistakes, eh, maybe not three, but for the most part it was a smooth run. I hope you guys enjoy, drop a like if you guys did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm only human, you know what humans do? They go continue the wind trick on the ironclad. Let's go. Hey, I only do that half the time. Uh, just right now, I have this problem. The first run of the day, I really am just not prepared to think. All right, let's change the title. Okay. It's not even defect's fault, it's completely my fault. But I can't portray myself, so instead of portraying myself, I'll portray the defect and I'll come back to it. Transform two cards, snipe, remove a card. This Neon bonus sucks, huh? <laughs> you like boss popping, huh? I play with learning blood, so in it's so integral to me. Transform and get a curse, and then we can so we can remove the opportunity cost, right, of removing a strike or anything else, or the curses that transform gives us. Spend seventy five gold to, to transform two cards, <laughs> guys. Surely that can't be good. Surely it can't be good to get a curse. That I then had to remove instead of a strike that I was gonna remove just to get the chance at two cards instead of a strike and a defense. Okay, well, let's take a look this way. You're technically removing a strike and a defense, okay? So it balances out. Now, I am on a win streak. And do I wanna do something so foolish on a win streak here? Especially going to a shop this early. Ah, boy. I guess win streaks aren't as important, right? Just forget about the win streak, forget about past runs. Just focus on what's the best for this run. But it's not just that. It's like... You're also removing a strike in the defense, so it, the remove balance is out. I'll do it for you guys. So, I, so uh, today's the day I become a just chatting streamer. Um, you know, just chatting is a nice category. No, I'm just kidding. One sec, I'm making my food. So defect, so defects. Uh, Decay is not that bad of a curse, as far as curses go, okay? Sever Soul manages the curse. And makes the deck smaller, okay? Limit Break is another curse, but... Potentially is not a curse down the line. Limit Break is one of the skills you don't want to see. Sever Soul is actually okay, it does damage and it can... But... The other stuff... The Limit Break... Well, that right there is a problem. Except, let me explain. There's an event. The event says... The event says, um... Give up a card and get max HP. So let's look for that event. Let's go. Look, Cyrusol's taking care of the curse already. Look at that. Look at that. 
It's as if nothing ever happened. We're giving up limit break for, for max HP, yes. I'm looking for that Kurt. I'm looking for that event. Sometimes in la ah, perfected strike. Oh my god, this is the problem with Transform. I forgot. I'm a perfected strike gamer, okay? And here's the problem. I removed one strike already to the transform. Then I have a severed soul and a bash. Now a perfected strike for damage. And you can start to see how awkward this becomes. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to do think long and hard because this is a very tough start. Is this floor two, floor one already? Floor one and the run seems doomed. So I think what we do is we acknowledge that Sever Soul is doing damage. And as an upgrade target, it's doing damage as an upgrade target as well. So we skip the perfect strike, we take the shrug it off. And we do Sever Soul. And just like that, it's functioning like a madman. Let me eat this food. And this, after we eat this food, we're going to be the, the best players in the world. Perfect. Iron Wave. Iron Wave is a card that for floor 3 or floor 2, or even we're on floor 2. It um, has a nice hybrid of damage and block. Certainly is okay to put in the deck. Armaments is a card that can uh, scale for the long fights. Which is something we might want to consider as we start approaching elites like Lagavulin. Do we want armaments for Lagavulin? Um, for Gremlinov, not so much. For Triple Sentry, probably not as good. It's mainly for Lagavulin. We talk about Slime Boss. Slime Boss. I'm not seeing the armaments vision here. I'm seeing the Iron Wave and now, I wanna, now we're looking for the events, right? So we want to go for the three events either way. I and mean, it depends, are we doing three leads or are we doing two leads? So if we do two leads, we get another event. We're doing three leads. We get an event, we miss a campfire. Uh, we've got to decide that. The third hallway fight is always the best. Let's keep the shrug. Get rid of the curses. What's up, my sponsor? Pizza monster. And now this little break is speculative. Like now, we're we're out. Whoa. Uh, I'll, I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. I'll take it. Otherwise, I would overheal. I would overheal otherwise. So this is fine. Jolly brew. Okay. Flame. Oh wow. Cards. These are cards. Wow. Cards. Wow. Cards. Cards. Oh, well, everybody trickles in, guys. I know it's a little early stream, sorry. I do gotta walk my dog. Everybody grab a snack, get comfortable, get a water. I'll be right back, because my dog does have to use the bathroom. Very disorganized start, I very apologize for that. Usually have the day off, you know. I come back, I forget, I forget how to stream. Be right back. Boy, okay. It's a tough choice, guys. Uh, thank you for being patient. All right. Dogs are walked. I mean, I think Flamebear is a decent uh, block card. Flamebear is a decent block card. All right. Here's what we want to find, guys. Bonfire Spirits. You guys seeing this? This is what we're looking for.
Oh, I'm big fish. If we take a relic here, how do we manage the regret? I'm doing good, pizza. If I take regret here, I have silver soul for that as well, but how do we man is there like a removal? To is it worth to take a relic here, basically? That might increase my odds of doing a uh, third elite. So how silly is the relic here? There's events to remove here. There's several soul in the deck. 16 card deck, 4 curses. Yeah. Yeah. But I got a relic. Mm. Too much variance. We love change. We found the wrong shrine. We found we love change. Wrong shrine. We got gold, however. So now I feel like I want to upgrade my damage. Now what I'm thinking about again, looking for there's an event regardless. So we get a campfire or an elite. Or an elite is probably better. We have two potions. We have a severed soul. So like a bullion fight. Sever soul will carry with, with bash in the back bash in the back burner and block pot exists. Triple Century Fight, we have Sever Soul for similar purposes, as well as Flame Bearer on terms sometimes to block and actually do 8 damage. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're, we're in a decent spot to do an elite here. We still have the curse in the deck, though. We found Bash alongside Sever Soul. Sever Soul's also giving us in my good block. So pretty piss poor start to the fight. Sever Soul is still alongside Bash. How long in this fight can we go? Can we do Flame Barrier and Strike? How long can we go without playing Sever Soul at least once? Not very long. was great an early feed an early feed wow that's a good rare where's bonfire spirits Where is Bonfire Spirits? This man's in perfect feed range.
first dude of the day. So we got Twin Strike, Pummel, and Bloodletting. Make sure to go eat. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Going to the pub? Oh, it's been a long time, huh? First time since November. Nice. How is it going on pub on the Monday? Is the pub, is the pub nice and chill on a Monday? Pub's probably a different kind of thing, huh? Over there. Take care, man. Okay. We have a decent amount of two costs, so I don't mind um blow that in here. How much play do you think blood is gonna get in this deck? If with flame barrier and separate soul and bash. It's weird. The deck's still very incohesive right now. It's got this curse, it's got this curse, it's got that stuff going on right now. I really want to see Bonfire Spirits, that would be ideal. I also have a lot of gold all of a sudden because of that event. So I might end up skipping campfire and going to the shop with this amount of gold or continue on in my path. But I gotta determine whether or not two elites is possible. And I think on average, bloodletting is beneficial. Well, this is uh, this is not the relic you want to see. This is not the relic you want to see, guys. I know I'm taking a lot of curses. I'm taking a lot of curses, sometimes unwillingly. But uh, no, it's not a relic you want to see. But imagine... I mean, that makes the elite harder. But 46 life and we have some potions here that I could open up right now and take a look. Grumman Knob and Triple Sentry are the two elites. Grumman Knob, we have Captain's Will on turn three. Grumman Knob's not too bad. I think Grumman Knob Grub with um, Captain Joe turn 3 feels good. The deck has a lot of, a lot of skills though. Um, let's take a look at how these cards look. That all depends on bash timing I suppose. Triple Sentry however is a little bit harder. Um, it all depends on when Sever Soul is drawn. And triple Sentry is a little bit... I, I take a lot of damage to Triple Sentry if I... But this only blocks... 10 of the 8, sorry, 18 only blocks 10, which because it's on turn 3, so, triple century fight looks a little bit bad, I mean, doable, with these two potions, I mean, this, this, this might as well drink this, whoa, that changes things entirely, scratch that, triple century looks a lot of worse, but what an upgrade, if I go to the campfire, what am I upgrading? Is it about time? Is it about time that I upgrade feed? <laughs> Probably not. We upgrade bash. It's better for Gremlin Knob fight. We already win the Gremlin Knob fight though. Triple Sentry is the problem. I'm done. I'm done digging. Triple Sentry is a problem. Also going against the slime boss. Oh boy. How do I rectify this with Triple Sentry? Can't really.
I also don't. I think we we, we go we pay for gambling. Love. All right. I mean, there's, we we would never like uh, smoke bomb in this fight, right? Do you think we would smoke bomb in this fight? I mean, that feels like a complete wasted floor, right? I kind of clicked the button when I I was talking about how Super Century probably wasn't the play, and I kind of just clicked the button. But this is a decent turn. This is a decent turn. So now we determine. Who we want to kill first? Lower health here. We high rolled the crap out of this fight. I must say. We we can think about what weak pot here. So we can think about using weak pot so that we get bash applied. That is something we could do. We high rolled the crap out of this fight. I'm gonna go buy lottery ticket. Uh, apparently I'm lucky. The bloodletting was perfect timing with the perfect amount of cards. The Sever Soul Feed together. It was, I mean, it was perfect. It was actually perfect. This 18 blocks the, the two from the Decay, which is very nice. Um, so now I gotta think about whether I wanna use Weak Pot and, and try to get Bash applied here. Weak Pot is good for Lag of Bullet. I mean, that Bash may not apply, do anything, right? So. I, I guess I should have mentioned that like there's a pretty big chance the bash doesn't do anything because only one turn of vulnerable. But my potion chance is getting higher. And we'll take some damage like we were supposed to, but we took a lot less than we I think we're than we were actually gonna take. So um, I'm pretty happy with how this fight turned out. I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm taking like 10 damage here and there, which is a perfectly fine outcome for me. We can full block or we can get the bash. Let's get full block. Full block. Sever Soul wins. So we draw Sever Soul, we win. We have two turns to find Sever Soul. Two turns to find Sever Soul. Okay. So we took 15 damage. We got Blue Candle, anyways. Which actually is kind of beneficial. Second wind. Slime boss, right? Second wind. The curses I have. The limit break. So second wind's also a great block card. When I mean, we guys saw the power of second wind, uh, power through second wind late game, it's a great card. Also, really works well with the slime bosses. Uh, so I'm taking the second wind here, but yeah, I am lagging a little bit. You guys noticing that? So now we have a choice. Do we want to look for Bonfire Spirits again? To get rid of the Limit Curse, get max HP, get a full heal? What are the chances in Bonfire Spirit here? So now we have 10 of Act 1 events we haven't seen yet. 10. And 1. So it's 1 out of 23 is Bonfire Spirits. 1 out of 23. Not to mention, it's, it's a 50% chance that it's an event, 52% chance, and 1 out of 23 that, that I want to hit. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but... But we've been uh, lucky before. Okay, let's talk about the shop then. I go for the fight because I want feed. I also want to keep the elite option open. Give her a second wind. Oh, 
Uh, so this shows your chance. So this is all information that is recorded in the game. This just puts it out into a a, 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 a graphical interface that's, you know, for people who don't want to track it. So rare cards chance and uncommon card chance. It's just like a formula for how the cards are uh, generated left to right. And this is just trying to show you, okay, your chance for a rare is going higher, and elite makes your rare chance go even higher as well. Which is something you should know intrinsically. Maybe these people don't know that, like, you know, rare cards from elites, that's why you do rares. That's why you do elites for rare cards. Not That's not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons. Uh, we want to get feed, so... Do you guys think it's appropriate to take five here to get feed? Take five to get feed. Feed heals for three, so I'm essentially taking two. I think it's worth. I don't want to blow the this too much right now. And we got Rage and uh, Clash here. What's up, Pernice? How you doing, buddy? Uh, let's talk about Clash. Second win Clash. Um, Cyber Soul Clash, second win Clash. We have two cards that make Clash pop off. So let's talk about it. Clash is the naturally skipped thing, but we have two cards that alongside Clash make Clash playable immediately. Does that give a good reason to be picked? I don't know. So then I break is a curse that came with uh, Sever Soul, and I transformed two cards for a curse. And we've been running with it ever since. Yeah, I would like the extra damage. Right now, my damage is Sever Soul and Wait. Sever Soul and Wait. Sever Soul and Wait. For the most part. I also don't want to have a clash in the deck, though. For late game, but I mean, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Clash is damage I could use now to really help cement this elite as well. Goblin Lover, Lock of Olden. It's a lot of gold for a shop, though. Opportunity cost is an elite. You have Smoke Bomb only. And Captain's Road makes Goblin Lover still really good, though. Makes you 100 bits. Notice me, Senpai. What's up, man? Cyro Church. My dog wants to be noticed as well. Dogs get like freckles and stuff on their skin when they get older because my dog's been getting like skin. Uh... He has like brown spots, like, like you know, freckles. Pizza, that is a deck that dies. The time meter and the heart. No. Nah, no, you're right though. It's a cool concept though. It is a cool concept. Feed here. Should I be greeting for feed here? Flame Bird defend clash and then feed on the second rotation. 
If we can clash next turn. Saber defend clash or uh Bash defend clash. Uh, let's take a look. Did we get a lethal if we do clash? I'm gonna I'm gonna have the uh, negative two strength. Okay, so you do down twenty four. Six Oh, in the perfect world, it's going to be 6 plus uh, 18, which is lethal. So if we get Defend, Bash, Clash, we have lethal next turn. If we get Bash, Strike, Clash, Iron Wave, well, no. So the worst case scenario is Flame Bear, Defend, Clash. The best case scenario is Bash, Defend, Clash. And this gives me that opportunity to get lethal if I get Bash, Defend, Clash, and I... Got Iron Wave Clash, which would have been nice for feed, but I was going for lethal. Could have had feed potentially, but there was an out where we don't have to worry about taking any damage at all. Omomori, can you guys explain to me why I was offered three curse relics back to back? I'm talking Darkstone Periaps, Blue Candle, and Omomori, and this is on top of it counterintuitive. What is going on? Does the game want to tell me something? Is it because I transformed two cards for a curse and then got two curses in the deck so that my deck had a four curse deck and they were like kind of recognizing that I'm a curse build? I don't know, but then why would you go with Mori? And why would you give me one Mori? All right, Rupture, Double Tap, Pommel Strike. These, I, 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 I retire, this is too much. Oh my God, Papo, oh my God, one sec, one sec, cause he just keeps, he won't stop bugging me. He won't stop bugging me, huh? He won't stop bugging me, huh? hard man the game is hard here the game is hard because <sighs> now rupture kind of speaks to limit break a little bit but not really it's like <laughs> oh man rupture is kind of saying no nah, rupture just doesn't feel right here i'm more content with just getting rid of limit break as a curse on every fight but okay let's say we with rupture we have bloodletting we have blue candle with her curses so we can rupture proc with descenders bane with decay bloodletting so that's three procs for rupture and then we have limit break at the end of all that yeah blue candle procs rupture so i have three procs of rupture already because of blue candle now rupture wants to be played immediately but in a fight, Rupture will get three procs in one cycle, except for the fact if Rupture is in the bottom of the deck, and there it probably gets it on no cycle, no strength at all, just a curse. Number four. Okay, so then we have Palmer Strike. Speaks for the Bloodletting. Upgraded Palmer Strike, we get some card draw, Bloodletting becomes a better card. Rupture is so. Give her, it's like a curse in hallway fights, probably, and um, oh. and a um. So now we have another another option. Ooh, maternal with the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Ooh, woo. Now we have feed, all right? A feed chance and a potion chance versus bonfire spirits. For a limit break, max HP, and full heal. Now we've been talking about Bonfire Spirits the whole game. And how nice would it be if Bonfire Spirit happens right here? How vindicated would we feel? We've been talking about Bonfire Spirits the whole time. Let's take a look. Still the same odds. 50% <laughs> chance that this is an event. 
17% chance it's a shrine. If it's 17% chance it's a shrine, now it has to be 1 out of 13 that the shrine is Bonfire Spirits. The odds are against me. It also be a shop though, and we do not mind a shop actually. 12% chance for 12% chance for a shop. We do not mind a shop. How do we do against the slime boss right now? We have attack pot. This is a hard pull fight we're about to fight. Now, it could end up being 6 HP and a feed, but more likely than not, we're taking damage in this hard pull fight, yeah? So, we got to determine how much damage we're taking in a hard pull fight. Is it worth to take damage in a hard pull fight to get a feed off? Or is it better to take an event and keep my life as it is? And we're going to manage the slime boss by doing things like Sever Soul and Second Wind to manage the slimes. And if the slimes are managed, the fight is easier, of course. I'm going for the event. Bonfire. So we got, as you guys anticipated, Living Wall. Okay. So we can upgrade, transform, or remove. I mean, we've been transforming everything. Why not keep going? If we were to upgrade, what would we upgrade? We would probably upgrade at this point. At this juncture of time. That's not updated. This mod is uh info mod to by oh I gotta update the list. I could upgrade second wind. Cause I'm I'm often playing second wind for the slimes, but also playing second wind to get rid of all these nasty ass stupid ass skills in my deck. I could transform the limit break. True. I could upgrade Bloodletting to speak for the Pommel Strike and other cards, but there's too many non-playable cards. The Bloodletting actually is wasted energy. And we could upgrade Feed. For all the people that want the meta scaling to be sky high. And now we have a choice. Our choice is... Smith or Rest, right? I have attack pot for this deck. I've got a singular attack that can smack him up, which is Pommel, Sever Soul. And Pommel Strike does some work as well, Bloodletting. But for the most part, if Bash is not applied before turn 3, we're probably taking a big hit. If Bash is applied before turn 3, then maybe Sever Soul and attack pot comes into play. You transform a curse, it does block the curse, yes. So by transforming a curse, you're removing a card, essentially. Ow. We got Clash. All ye deltas. Second win the shrug it off, take no damage. Let's say we, let's say we want to keep bloodletting, right? Let's say we want to keep bloodletting. I want to keep bloodletting. No damage! Who is this lord? Boom! Ah, yeah, but sir, your split is awful. Yeah, you're right. My shirt, my split is awful. Damn, you're right. I'm thinking bash second wind. Ah, uh, come on, boy. Dun 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 
And the world's biggest waste of arrest goes to... Jeremiah. I arrested because... I have no idea why I arrested. I had captain's wheel. Clash as a final hit. Say no more. Vindicated. I am good. I am wrong. I swear I'm right. Swear I knew it all along. But okay, this, well, let's, let's talk about Snack Away though. Let's talk about Snack Away. Let's talk about Snack Away. Let's look at Curse Key. Let's talk about Snack Away and look at Curse Key. Ah. A lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money, honey. Let's go for elites, let's go for money. By money, I mean shop. And bonfire. Oh, bonfire spirits is still a thing. Look at this. Bonfire spirits, it's still a thing. Yeah, I know my chances are low. But man, the gratification if it happens. I swear I knew it all along. Scarred. I am cleaning up so well. And the mine's not ready yet, so. Sorry, guys. If you want to tread carefully into the worlds of modding your own game, knowing that alpha testing and beta testing are a thing and crashes may happen. I gave you the information to Google. With Google, you can find what you seek is all public information. But I will not recommend anything for those who then come back and say, this crashed my game. So the mod is info mod and beware. But also, it's working just fine for me. Okay. Um, I keep looking at the right path here because I really want to get some sparse and some events. I also want to get these elites. So there's a lead here, lead here on the left or right path. There's also a shop. I got, I'm thinking about whether I get this shop, this shop, or this shop. There's three shops on this path. My dog just loves to play. Over here we have uh, nothing but hallway fights and, and question marks. This is a decent time to do bronze skills, right? I mean, let's talk about it. By, by the time I get to the leap, my potion chance is going to be sky high. And maybe Book of Stabbing doesn't even care. If there's ever a time, I never a place. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Now feed is a thing. Feed. Emily kills them all. Boom! I'm getting huge! Perfected Strike, Thunderclap, Headbutt Plus. I... I also should have mentioned that I have Immolate for that fight, but you know. Perfected Strike is rearing his head again, saying, Hi, remember me? Your old best friends. I want to go and join the fun. Perfected Strike, now is not your time, you have your place. What about Headbutt Plus? 12 damage, pretty good damage. And it brings back a card. Can bring back Second Wind for the following turn. Can bring back Bombo Strike. Can bring back Immolate. Now we gotta talk long and hard about Headbutt and why we should or should not take Headbutt here. It plays a Palmer Strike here. Plays a Shrug it off as well. That's awesome, Pizza. Great to hear it. 
I'm currently playing with my dog. Look at this. I know this is like a tug of war thing. Look at this. While I'm picking cards, look look at the dog cam. Look at the dog cam. The multitasking John. Uh, he likes to take it out of my hand, which probably is not behavior I should. But it's all in good fun, right? Okay. I mean, the fact that Hebba is upgraded is making it look a little bit more desirable, right? Is Hebba going to be a curse more than a, a boon? You know what? I'm in, the, I'm in the business of trying things out and having some fun. I regret that notion. Why did I say that? I already regret it. Nah, uh, getting Flame Bearer back is really good. That means Flame Bearer is actually a decent upgrade. So, like, here's an example of me playing Clash, right? I can take one damage to play Clash. Who wants to do that? One damage to play Clash for 14 damage. Just because I can. But should I? Uh, I don't recommend it at home. Don't do this at home. Now here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna draw into feed, and we're gonna win the game. Who's ready for that? I could have killed him right there, but I want to feed him, which is very greedy. But I'm a greedy boy. And the feed shall be rewarded. Clash comes in again. Clutch as ever. And they said Clash was terrible. But I said, listen, we got cars that exhaust both ways to Sunday. Boom. It's Sentinel Havoc and Mod Strike. Um, now what does Sentinel actually do for us? That we exhaust it and we gain energy, and then and then what? I don't have enough card draw for Sentinel. Let's skip. All right, Bonfire Spirits. Okay, so we can talk about this skipping this curse here or robbing here, because I'm not that. Like, I'm not that curse averse. I have Omamari first off. I want to use my goal for the shop second off. Third off, if I do get a curse in the second chest, which is going to happen, I have Blue Candle. Now, I could use my money here and not, you know, because this Omamari is going to have two uses already. It already has two, cur two chests already. But I want to kind of use the value now, go for as many leads now. I may be determined if I want to skip a chest down in Act 3 if, I, if I'm so strong, right? It's like, I'm, I'm not opposed to skipping small chests. We've done it before. And this gold may be more important. I'm doing it. Bonfire Spirits. Region versus Distill Chaos. That gold could be used elsewhere. But I think we're strong enough to do three leads. Actually, to do three elites is impossible. I can only do two elites, so I can determine whether or not I do a sh Ah, but if I do the shop... I'm skipping all the campfires. I'm only going to fights. What upgrades do I want to get if I keep skipping these campfires? Well, we don't really need any upgrades right now. Skip the shop and go to the late shop. And go to the events. Bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we're, we're getting kind of creative here. I should be, I should be careful. I'm going to use a potion in this fight. Huh. <laughs> God damn it. 
Uh, I hate the way I played this. I really dislike the way I played this. Fetus low chance. Feed. Eight damage, eight damage plus four is twelve. Just feed. Feed. I have region pot, I can take a feed, right? Second wind. I should have not done that damage. This would have been five block plus that would have been enough block. What would we'll take we'll take a little bit of feed here. When greed goes wrong. Power through! Guys, we've, we've talked about it. We've talked about the doozy nature of these cards. How's our damage? Snake plant. Oh, joy. Power through. Come on, feed. Come on, feed. God damn it. I'm using potions willy-nilly. I'm being the most stupid, foolish potion user in the world. And I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do a potion for this. I shouldn't. Because I'm about to fight an elite. And a potion this elite could be an emulate plus, which is huge. And, you know, Book of Stabbing is no joke. Like give me headbutts. Malleable, 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 malleable. I strike, he takes one damage, goes down to five. Five plus four is nine. And then strikes, feed only does seven. We cry. Oh, and this is why we saved it. Doom. Boom. What now? Boom. Boom. Is that for feed now, yeah? I found it. Oh, I got some sustain now. We're full life. We're about to be full life. Another power through. Look how much life I saved with that potion there, Heimzor. Look how much that potion did in that fight. 
Bloodletting turn one with the Immolate Plus and the Sever Soul and the second wind. Right? That blood the 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 forge pot just saved so much life. I also got feed perfectly on the third turn. Unironically dual wield clash, you guys are Alright, mods, round them up. Start banning each one of them. No, I'm kidding. Do we old clash? No, 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 guys. Because the problem do a clash is that you know what happens on a long fight. Oh, you can do it for short fights, okay? But I mean, if you're talking about hallway fights, sometimes do a clash is a thing that happens. Sometimes. That's it. That's all I can say. I mean, okay. What else is do doing for us? Nothing. Nothing at all. Feed. It can give us multiple feeds. Nice. Nah, I'm looking at power through number two here. Cyber Soul, it can speak for it. Also, second wind already speaks for it as well. Full heal. You guys want to do it with power heals? I don't even have powers. What powers? Guys, we're not even struggling with life. I have a meal ticket. I mean, yeah, power. This is great. Oh, it's, uh, I want to use this. I haven't even got any powers to use. I haven't been offered. I'm going to refund you. Refunding everybody. Everybody's getting refunded. Listen, everybody's getting refunded. I don't want to hear a damn thing. Boom. Instant refund, everybody. Okay. Dark Embrace is a power. Shockwave is a skill. Charon's Ashes is a thing. We're not going to talk about it. It's a little expensive. Prismatic Shard is here. Dark Embrace is a draw engine. I do a lot of exhausting. Dark Embrace is looking sexy. Let's go ahead and also get this out in the chat. Because there's a world where we take this. Just kidding, we don't take that. But, um, for sure. Demolishes Clash. It demolishes Clash. But opens up that ass, alright? That's what you gotta think about in life. I'm gonna demolish one card. But open up the whole other damn universe. Clash did his job. Clash is in the middle of Act 2. And Clash was relevant in Act 1. It was also relevant in the beginning of Act 2. Now we're on to some new things. And not to mention, I don't gotta play Dark Embrace all the time. <clears throat> it's like a winded. Charon's Ashes is a lot of damage in this deck. It is. Absolutely. Charon's Ashes is a lot of damage. Do we need that damage? We exhaust all the time. Second wind power through. Massive damage. Six damage. All right. Six AoE. It's only six. But okay. But this, on average, we're going to be like nine. Because we're going to exhaust at least one other card. Usually with second wind. But on the bare minimum, second wind power through is already six damage. I'm talking about massive. I mean, honestly, let's, 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 keep, it, let's keep it level headed because. If I say words like massive, all of a sudden I'm buying this Charon's Ashes for 327 and I'm asking myself, why did, how did I get in this predicament? Why did I buy this? Yeah, Dark Embrace Shock of his Poggy. And, you know, and I agree. Boom, done. No more discussion. So, what now? There's another shop coming up. I can save my money and boom, all of a sudden, this hallway fight might damage me? No problem. Another shop, full heal. Oh, another relic. Beautiful. Give me a rare. Boom, right in, right in the chest. Let me go for two events, look for Bonfire Spirits, because again, Bonfire Spirits is my number one desire. As soon as I got this, I said, Bonfire Spirits, come to me. It may never happen, but boy, will it feel good if it does. That's a gambler's uh, mentality, and that is a very bad mentality to be in. So seeking the adrenaline rush of getting Bonfire Spirit when, in reality, we should be thinking about logic and reason, and also chances, which the chances are very low. By the way, OJB, this is sick. This overlay is sick. Okay. So, would somebody take Sharon's Ashes because the damage? The damage is probably relevant, though. I mean, I said it's only like six damage sometimes, but there's. Uh, I mean, Sharon's Ashes does a lot of damage in this deck. That should be worth something, right? Probably spent. Three weeks on this screen. This is a beautiful screen.
Yeah, so like, yeah, Chairman's Ashes is like something you would want to have in the deck, but do you want to spend 327 for it? Like, it, it, it is a lot of damage. It really is. Don't want to spend this much money for it. I could be spending this money on, like, another rare, such as, uh... You know, Instance Burner, Tori, self Farming Clay. Oh, wait, self Farming Clay is uncommon, by the way, my bad. It doesn't come around again. We're buying it. What do you want to remove? A strike? All right, boys, we're rolling. It's a small chest. Do we skip it? Small chest. Do we skip it? Nah, we'll brace the curses, right? It could be happy flower. I like happy flower. Vajra. Hey, but for pummel strike, we got it. Look. Excuse me? Clash, you sick son of a gun. The three damage, the clash, the bash, the strike. This deck does not lack damage. It has creative damage in all turns and every turn. It's got block on the next one. I can kill right here. How much should we agree for feed here? You push your link. Yeah, here it is. It's, let's uh, let's permit this man. Permit this man, guys. He has good mods. Now it's at your own discretion. It's not on the workshop. Uh, you guys want to grief for feed? Yeah, me too. 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 Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's do it. It's green. It's green. What if I do second win and then it draws in the feed and I can't play it? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, how much greed is too much greed, though? Uh, we greeted a lot here. And now I'm getting offered 27... T oh, we have a shop! We're not gonna hit the shop, though. We could greed for the feet and hit the shop for the heal, but I don't want to do that. Duplication pot. Barricade! goodness oh my I mean okay yes yes I'm thinking yes I'm thinking yes bonfire spirits yikes Hmm, we can feed this guy now and take a shite ton of damage. Fair enough. Thank you. 
Oh, excuse me. Scheisen. Scheisen. Where's the bonfire spirits? All right, so. Yeah, so it's, it's probably my, you know one of the only ones I know in German, but also it's uh, one of my favorite ones. It's kind of how you say like, ah, coño tu madre. I mean, no one really says that, but they also say like, ah, merd. No one really says that either. But I mean, I don't know. Cursing another language is probably it's probably common, isn't it? Ay, Dios mío. I'm sure people, other people curse in other languages. I'm sure, pretty sure it happens all the time. Completely normal. Is it? It's normal. All right, we got gold or we got ritual dagger. Let's talk about ritual dagger. Ritual dagger does three AOE damage. Okay. First off with that. It also gets stronger and stronger meta scaling. I think we don't need it. We don't need it, guys. I think we are we're leaning into this barricade. I'm going to take the gold here. And now we have another fight, which is um, potion chance. Which is good because I can use his blood pot. Or it's also another feed. However, the event. I've been trying to do this so hard. Ice cream. And Clash gave me an ice cream. At the end of all of it, Clash gave me max HP. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because you're a native German, um, when I'm saying something like that, that doesn't mean that much to me. It sounds harsh. I hear you. It's like someone who's like, let's say, a foreigner, and and they, for some reason they say "fuck your mom" when they get mad or whatever. It sounds really, really harsh, but like for them, it's just like there's an expression. Yeah, I can see that. It's fair. German words sound angry. I can see that. Okay, so. This is a lot of max HP. I think we're dead here. I need energy. I need energy so bad. I have so many good cards and not enough energy. I have so many good cards and not enough energy. I'm du I'm duplicating blood bloodletting. I think. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do bloodletting. I want to power through second wind so bad. Because it's also a decent amount of damage. But then I lose flame barrier. I think I legit might do but uh I'll let it here. I wasn't kidding. So, do we have time for barricade, or do we just save our energy here? Do 
Do we have time for uh, barricade or we just save energy here? Barricade power through. But he's going to start scaling more than I am, right? I have weakened next turn. But he's still going to scale more than I am. This also is a two heal, right? I'm thinking I just bash to save the energy. And we have shockwave and stuff next turn. I mean, Barricade, if I draw a second one, yeah, okay, Barricade's fine. Jesus Christ. Can you stop giving me this? I know we're I know we're gonna I know we're gonna talk about do pot for two energy, alright? I do pot it for two energy. I need energy that bad. I need energy that bad, guys. It's crazy. But I need energy that bad. I don't know. Do pot for two energy, I mean it's an energy pot that, in that moment, but... Alright, so... So, Havoc plus with no Frozen Eye. And it could hit... <laughs> Havoc plus no Frozen Eye. You guys are nuts. Havoc with a headbutt? Oh, but that's such a waste of turns. And also, that think about the inconsistency of that. Havoc, Havoc headbutt. When Dark Embrace is played, yes, Havoc Headbutt is something we could do. But before Dark Embrace is played, we just have a Headbutt and a Havoc in the deck. No, it was funny that you pointed it out, Deep for 2 Energy, because it's an Energy Pot, but I, I really think we needed the Energy. So, And I, I'm, I'm happy with how the fight turned out. I probably could have played it differently, but I saved a lot of life. So we have Feed number 2. Um... How much is the second fee going to give us in max HP, realistically, in Act 3? Probably not the as much as the downside is going to be for having this in my deck. you got to balance that out, right? Oh, this could get you 12, maybe 10 max HP. Sorry, 9 max HP or 12 max HP. I don't know, for being generous. It also exists on every other turn that I don't get the feed. So, you know, it's like, I think this single feed is probably enough. Okay, so then we have Havoc. Uh, yeah, Havoc's okay sometimes. Havoc's okay sometimes, but I don't want Havoc to prematurely hit power through. And Hall Effects, it's fine. For boss fights, we'll be more careful. I mean, Havoc is obviously fine once Dark Embrace is already played, and we kind of are getting through our deck. I don't think we need it, guys. I'm skipping here. Before I skip here, maybe someone has a better reasoning for Havoc. Yes, Havoc Headbutt is a thing. But the way I look at it is that that's very inconsistent in a 26 card deck. And, um... Dark and Braces also, once set up, Havoc becomes better. But then, once Dark and Braces set up, second win, Power 3 is already carrying the fights. Yeah, I think exhausting second win is bad enough. If I exhaust second win with Havoc... In a boss fight? Okay, the boss fight, that's where it's dangerous. We, that's where we'll be careful with Havoc. So on every other, you know, for boss fights, we can actually just second win the Havoc itself. Or even several shoulder Havoc, so that's not even a problem. And for hallway fights, Havoc is pretty beneficial. I mean, it 
we have a lot of expensive cards. We have a Shockwave, a Flame Bear, a Dragon Brace, a Barricade, right? These Immolates, whatever. So for Hallway Fights, it's actually okay to use Havoc. For the most part. Who are we going against? The Champ. <laughs> the Champ. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys want to upgrade? Let's BM the champ, let's skip this campfire. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, what's a good upgrade here? Energy or bloodletting? We saw how much we like energy. Bloodletting gives us energy with ice cream. We saw how much we like the energy, yeah? And then the energy is the damage from bloodletting is healed up by playing powers. That's not too bad. So bloodletting looks huge. Um, huge upgrade. Probably top of the list for me. We have power through. Our main block source, power through, second winds, boom, engine, engine, engine. It's five extra block. We have barricade to make it more playable, sure. Bloodletting kind of offers the same thing. Depends on what order you get them in. And then we have uh, Dark Embrace to make it more playable. Bloodletting kind of offers the same thing. <laughs> Living Break for minus three damage. And worse draws. <laughs> yes. All right, if you really want to be in the champ, we upgrade Limit Break. Minus three damage, worse draws. Also... We have Vajra, so if we're diligent enough, we can limit break, two strength, headbutt, four strength, eight strength, and all of a sudden, sky's the limit. But look at it this way, bloodletting can give me energy for everything, dark embrace gives me one singular energy, and then it's done. The energy gain is no longer there, whereas bloodletting keeps it's the gift that keeps on giving. Let's feed this guy. Fifty-one block already. Where's calipers, guys? Where's my calipers? Huh? I'm begging you. Put my loving arms out, baby. Baby. I mean, I could. Okay. I could th theoretically play the break for one strength here. I could. Could also make it five block. <laughs> one strength versus five block. What's better? <laughs> one strength versus five block. Uh, Alright, let me break. You get a pass today. Any second wind with all these wounds. I don't have evolve. Second wind is being very awkward right now. Hey, take care, uh, T Peaks.
I'm dead. I actually f fucked up this fight. I actually lost. I like why am I was frail. I'm trying to greed the feed. Let me greed the feed, please. What's up, Trixie? Nice. Good job, we're meeting. All right. Do I want the feed? Feed is 15 damage right now. 15 damage and also potentially draws a wound. If I do second wind power through, uh, I do too much damage. Oh, I have lethal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't do the lethal. Okay, my bad. Oh, shit. I'd love to do second step of souls power through. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Alrighty, alrighty, ready, ready. Let's go. Re Brave Lake Corruption. I forgot we had two strength. I mean, I was I was fine. I was about to do several power through. We'll be fine. We're, just, we're gonna win the game, but that works. The limit break. I want bonfire still. I'm gonna be searching for mind. <laughs> Guys, this run is gonna be this. I'm gonna search for mind bloom and bonfire the whole game, and we're suddenly gonna win the game. And it's all gonna be from the start. Limit break curse. It existed. I've been trying the whole damn game to get rid of it. And we ended up winning the rig the game. That, that, that's what I, that's what I predict. I like this kind of runs where it's like floor zero is already you have a curse and you're struggling, and you win despite it. I mean I don't know. It's kind of cool that Sever Soul existed. It leans right into everything else that's going on. Powers we're looking for: fuel, no pain, and evolve. We're not out of the woodworks yet. This deck still struggles with a lot of things. Do we want corruption when we are in fact wanting to keep playing second wind and um, dark embrace power through stuff? Would we even want corruption? Corruption is good for hallway fights. For hallway fights, corruption says, play me, and then all of a sudden things are free. Quite literally. The other hand is double emulate. Emulate is another AoE card, big spec spoon, but our AoE is pretty damn good, I must say. And then there's Reaper. Reaper is just some heal. Sometimes. 
Not bad for a deck that does some self damage with bloodletting and stuff like that. A single Reaper doesn't hurt, but if you really look in the face of it, Reaper is too dam too energy for five a uh, damage AOE that also can heal you. It also does three AOE from exhausting. Reaper's just barely breaking even. I think it is it, is positive. I mean, it can heal for fifteen and it does um, eight AOE. Heal for fifteen, deal eight AOE. That sounds like a good card for me. More curses. Really relishing the fact that curses are what we're coming coming down to. Or we can do fusion hammer, get more energy. More energy is happy with ice cream. More energy means that we can do dark embrace shenanigans as well. Because we have hard draw. Once the engine's there, the engine's there, and boom, energy be damned. So we could do fusion hammer. We also do curl calling bell and get another curse, which at the way this looks, we're getting rid of curses pretty easily, and we also have blue candle. But let's talk about the energy versus the three random relics. Yeah, no, I think that, so, for, the Act 4 Corruption may be better. Because on the tail end of the fight, you just play Corruption, and all of a sudden you're just going through your whole cards. So think about it this way. Once you're set up a Dark Embrace, then on this tail end of the hard fight, or Act 4, maybe for you, Act 4, you play Corruption immediately. And that gives you immediate value of second wind power through, and immediate value of all your skills with Dark Embrace. On the, for all the other hallway fights, we could Exhaust Corruption. Just as we do with any other curse. Sometimes we play on Hall of Fights as well. I mean, Corruption is pretty good. I maybe didn't give it a fair shake. You think we need more card draw? Yeah, we, we could use more card draw. We're, we're very, very reliant on Dark Embrace. When Dark Embrace is not played, we're in Disaster Zone. Also, if Evolve is not in the deck, which we noticed, Disaster Zone. Without a Battle Trance, Disaster Zone. So, are you arguing that we don't take another energy because we're struggling with card draw? So how would taking Calling Bell help me with card draw? What is Calling Bell to help card draw? By the way, this could have been a Snekawai deck. Snekawai 7 card draw, which... Yeah, that's something. How does Calling Bell help a card draw? Pocket Watch? Are we playing? Are we using Pocket Watch a lot in this deck? Yeah, I mean, we, to Pocket Watch the setup is probably fine. We haven't seen Puzzle. Pocket Watch, Ink Bottle. Okay. There's a lot of card draw relics. I say a lot. I named three. What are the other three? What are the other ones? Bag of prep. Okay, bag of prep. See, these are good relics that can solve card draw for sure. Um. Well, 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 well. Well, we're in for a doozy. What would we want to upgrade? We want to upgrade Shockwave. Probably want to upgrade Dragon Bridge. Probably want to upgrade Immolate. Do you guys think we shouldn't take Fusion Hammer? Or should we just forgo upgrades and, and we have to recall? I mean, we want to upgrade Dragon Brace. Probably. But we can win with these cards right here. We do want to upgrade Shockwave, though. Where's the card draw? We got Frail. Hey, I love that. Turn up is great. I love that. Turn up is great. Honey, begging you. Put your loving arms around me. Baby. I'm thinking this path right here. Get these events. Look for Mind Bloom. Another elite. Three elites. A whole bunch of campfires. Shop if we want to pivot. My lord. That path is juicy. Already got Dark Embrace. Already not playing Dark Embrace. <laughs> got Dark Embrace. Not playing it. Ice Cream exists. 46 damage. Set up feed. 
set up feed. Where's feed? Feed's coming. Hopefully. Feed. Oh, the barricade. Feed. There it is. The heel into the feed. You can't make this stuff up, folks. We got that much max HP. We got a barricade and a setup deck. We got the second wind power through. We're looking for some nice powers. What are we going to get? A pommel strike. Card draw. And it comes upgraded. Card draw. Look at it. There it is. That's the third feat of the run we saw. Can you believe it? A small chest. Surely we skipped this, huh? Ah, why would I have curse key? I mean, I can get rid of curses for all intents and purposes, all right? What if this is Bottle Tornado? Bottle Tornado of Direct Embrace, then all of a sudden the curse is not so bad. So we... Guys, we... <sighs> Yo, thanks for the 100 bits. What's the max? The record for max HP in a run? I've gotten 240 plus max HP in a run. I don't remember the exact amount. I think I got 243, 245, something like that. No, so the small chest is not guaranteed common relic. No, no. Small chest is more likely to have common relic. Still contains uncommon. I can get a rare relic from this. Pretty sure, right? Or is that you can't get a rare relic at all from small chest? I'm pretty sure I can get a rare relic. The chances are just low. Damn it. Why'd I do that to myself? I have a lot of matches to work with. I need evolve. I need evolve. We're getting through the relic pool. We get through the relic pool, we can get sooner to some better stuff. We have Reaper in this fight. Because we have Reaper, Bloodletting is so, so, it's so nice. We have Orikagum got play. And we have Reaper. It's like, oh boy. I love it. We got Dexterity procs. Now we have Kunai. I mean, oh, this is all going so well. We're second win, though. I'm being so greedy in this fight. Does it pay off? Does green greedy pay off here? We have a Reaper and we can headbutt the feed. Can't even headbutt the feed. Uh, theoretically, we can get to like a really massive amount of block, but the, you know, we're so dependent on second wind power through for block. We're so dependent on second wind power through for block in actuality, which is really bad, so.
Got the Evolve. Found the Evolve. This is also a Weaken. A Weaken source. Uh, I put too many curses in my deck, so we need to bottle this... We need to bottle this Dark Embrace, or I think we're going to lose this run. Because, uh, you know, I added so many, too many curses here. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, we found Evolve, which is very good. Um, obviously, Uppercut Plus is really good as well. It's another consistent source of weakening. All I have is Shockwave, but I think Evolve is really, really, really good for the deck. I know our setup is kind of insane right now. I know our setup is a little bit insane. Okay, feed coming up. What if I do Reaper and it draws feed? God damn it. I need to take any other attack except for Sever Soul. I thought he's gonna gain. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna gain more than 15 block. You gotta be shitting me. Oh my god, I had lethal right there, but I thought he was gonna take more than 15 block. I thought it was 35. I don't know why I thought that. Oh god. So we could have taken any other strikes. Any other strike. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it's ridiculous how that worked out. It's my fault. Alright. Boom! And they doubted it. But the bonfire! Huge. And now that we're here at this crossroads, the living break that we got so early on. Finally, we can relinquish it, huh? And get max HP. Finally, we can relinquish it. Bye, sir. And it all comes full circle. Transform two, get a curse, get two curses. And now max HP. And we're rolling in the setup deck. We're rolling in the setup deck here. I'm gated by energy, big time. I'm gated by energy, he said. Not anymore. We have Evolve in play. We have Evolve in play. Wait, I don't want to take too long in this fight. Jeremy, slow the heck down. Wait a minute, dude. How long are you trying to take in this fight? Let's not get crazy, no?
God damn it. Trolling myself. I'm trolling myself. Kind of is that a brain fart? Want any energy though? God, I need energy for this fight. Yikes, man. This deck is actually kind of bad now I think about it. Like I always need energy. Stop trying to play barricades so much in every fight, I feel like. I can't get rid of Evolve either. I need to slow down. I can't get rid of Evolve either. But, okay, I can't play Barricade Evolve Insect Win all at once. Uh, what I could do is... Think for Bloodletting. I think I, like, just because I have barricade doesn't mean I should be using it like this every fight. Which is a no-brainer, but uh...
It's like, it's a big no-brainer. Fuck me. You give me a big chest and bottle flame? What is this shit? We need panic button. We want like we need bottle tornado. What is what are we looking for though? What is what are we looking for? Body slam is the only card I see, maybe. But then we have so many like strikes left in the deck. Body slam seems okay. Probably wants an energy as well. We didn't take panic button here. Alright, I need to like, just like read some my mental. I, I've, been, I've been spewing these last couple runs, just non-stop. I've been non-stop spewing. Let's try to get a big reaper here. Let's try to get a big reaper. I don't know if Reaper's even possible here. Alright, uh, we have something, but it's marginal. Uh, I want to get feed next turn. Um, I don't know what my draws are going to be like. Chances for feet should be de decent, right? I don't want to waste offering here. We're already taking so much damage. I'm playing this like stupid, right? Like, I want to upgrade Dark Embrace. I don't know if I think I have to upgrade Shockwave for sure because that's my only choice to weaken. I didn't take the uppercut, so we're actually missing weaken. There's a lot of things going wrong here, actually. Way too many curses. Uh, we only have one source of weaken and it's not upgraded. I lost way too much life in that last fight. The giant head fight really screwed me over. I needed to really uh, beat that fight much sooner than I did. We have entrenched now. I need energy so bad. Well, the giant head fight, I really played like crap. Not to mention, I just take so much damage, actually. Like, so many. Look how much damage I take. Alright, Elo. I take so much damage. I actually don't have that much block. I have so many curses in my deck that had no feel, no pain, that I actually don't block at all until I'm blocking for a lot. No, too many curses in the deck. 
I uh, I don't block at all actually until this is here. It's like way too many curses. Plus the attacks are curses because they don't block. Like bash is horrible, strikes are horrible. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even Reaper's horrible. Nine. Body seems horrible and don't block. Ten. Fade is bad when I'm not using it. Eleven. Iron Wave is mediocre. Twelve. I had twelve curses in the deck. Jesus Christ. Big Cat thinks. Uh, Big Cat yeah, thinks it's Twitch Prime. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. That hand is a perfect body man to put everything wrong with my deck. I'm using blood in like crazy too. I know I can draw in trench. I know this potentially draws in trench. I know that. I know I could have headbutted in trench as well. I want to get like a feed off as well. What's up, Sir Gridham? Try to get feed here. Looking for like a battle trance. I have a prayer wheel, just looking for battle trance here. We did not find mind bloom. Matter of fact, we had an AoE fight, which are actually so bad for me. No mind bloom. Oh boy. Nah, we're gonna try to emulate Reaper here. Feet timing. Another offering because we're a setup deck. Do we rest or do, okay, do we do we need the rest for these two bosses? Probably not, right? So let's, let's park the brakes. Let's realize we made a lot of mistakes. I also realize okay, I um, I don't block at all until I block all of it. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that I have to get through half a deck of curses before I actually am online. Card draw is really important, of course. Um, so upgrade offer is a thing, but I actually think I need the life 
here because I think I take so much damage getting set up that I actually need a life for both fights. Which means I'm not operating again. Which is totally fine. I have enough max HP to beat the heart. Right? I, I can beat the heart here with the setup and the things that I have going on. But I've made so many mistakes that I got to rest. Because I did giant head and I did so poor in that fight, I'm now having to suffer the consequences of having to rest. Because the alternative is upgrade one card. Yeah, I just have to rest. That's just the reality of things. I can get a dix I can get like a uh, kunai proc, all right. But I also kind of want the energy, no? How good is dexterity proc? I mean, dexterity proc is pretty good. Second wind. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Where art thou in trench? I seek thee. In trench, come hither. The damage, boy, like I shot. The damage, the damage, friend. Boy, like I shot. Oh, my lord. Da, da, da. Let's go. Oh. I couldn't blood letting get entrenched win the game. But I don't need to do that. I. If I, if I didn't care about my life total, here's what I could do. Bloodletting, headbutts, get the entrenched, pummel strike entrenched, game over. But why would I waste 3 HP for that? Because the fight's already over. We're at the point where we're using matches as a resource, we're setting up, we're winning the game. I can upgrade in Act 4. Because I have a meal ticket. Sometimes. Game's over. I think game's over here. I need a, I need a, yeah, well, game's over. We just need a, okay. So we don't need to do blood letting, yeah? We just do this. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. I have lethal, I have lethal. Should I do it or should I go for feed? I repeat, I have lethal. I will do it this way. The reason why I'm doing it this way because I want to get feed. Where there's the feed. And now theoretically, okay, theoretically, we could wait for Bash on the Reaper and get an extra 2 HP. Or I can get that crap out of my deck right now. I mean, I could greed for Bash. How much time do you want to waste on that? For 2 HP. Maximize? You guys want to get that extra 2 HP? Fair enough. Say no more. <laughs> Bash is too much greed, right? I said I was saying, but hey, we can't, we can't be weakened. So how greedy is it? Because we can't be weakened. So think about it. How greedy is it really? I'm not a man that can be weakened. So all I gotta do is get vulnerable, and then we're done. See, two HP. 
It wasn't so hard. Uh, to set up feed now. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Fight's over. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, I mean, once we're set up, we're set up, the game's over. Uh, that, that much is sure. That much is sure. Well, the reason why the deck was feeling bad is because the hollow effects are punishing my slow-ass deck. No questions. And feed is here. Alright, got 98 life and a boss. My dog is crying. Give me a second. Good luck. Wait. The deck is fine against the heart. What are you talking about? The act for elite is harder than the... The act for elite punishes me more than the heart. Act for elite. Lots of damage. Quickly. The heart? I can set up and be fine. Actually, looking like death, maybe. Uh, that was also the break for the heart as well, so it wasn't in vain. <sighs> it was not in vain. We talked about it, guys. We're gonna we're gonna take a lot of damage in this fight. How important is shockwave in this fight, anyways? How important is shockwave in this fight? Uh, for me, it's I play nothing. I end turn. I end turn. I realize my deck is horrible. Until it's not, of course. I end turn here. Uh, it's me, me. It's Mihajlo. It's Mihajlo. Mihajlo. Hey, what's up, man? Okay. Shocker is not that important because I actually don't have uh, any weekend after that. That bear could have been nice. Trench, manifest it now. Manifest it now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Max HP, exhibit A, in nutshell. Target acquired. Yeah, that's what's up, baby. Let's get feed now. Gotta be careful, because I can actually kill with Sharon's Ashes. Sharon's Ashes can kill it here. I missed 5 HP Reaper, I know. I missed 5 HP Reaper. Uh, my goal here is to get to so let's get him down low enough for that. Uh, 
<laughs> Why is that win next to all the non exhausting stuff? Come on, man. Silly cutting is not so bad. It ain't so bad. Silly killing ain't so bad. Uh, it's gotta get like the bash and then sever soul. And then you can start seeing how strong and how soon the feed will come to be. Um, yeah, so this whole max HP phenomenon. This whole max HP phenomenon here. I, uh, I made so much mistakes in the giant head fight. That, that was such a, a brutal fight for me. I really... I really dropped the ball there. And it, I'm feeling its effects even now. Like, I mean, upgrade, I think two upgraded offerings would be really good to get the card draw to, to, to set up this deck. Once we get the two upgraded offerings, we're feeling really good. So, we can almost agree on a... a, a, a Unequivocally, that uh, no, spiritual is scared. I know we can uh, kind of agree that offering is probably one of the best upgrades just for the extra two card roll. But what about Evolve Plus? Evolve Plus gets his card draw, but no, I think once Evolve is out, the game's already over. What we need to do is offering so we can actually get to the point where we're finding the stuff, right? The two card draw is really important. So if I can find Fairy in the Bottle, can I afford it? Because I would buy Fairy in the Bottle in a heartbeat, and game is over. And every time this happens, I always have Fairy in the Bottle, but never end up using it. But this time I might end up using it, because Act 4 Lee can kick my ass. So Potion and Power Potion I can pick up as well. Power Potion can be Feel No Pain and make everything that much easier. Entrench pops off sooner. All of a sudden, Body Slam, 3 turn lethal, 4 turn lethal, game over, right? What we need to worry about is Act 4 Lethal. And, uh, okay, let's talk about Offering. Offering is probably the best upgrade, yeah? And I keep saying that, but maybe I'm looking at someone to convince me otherwise. I see the card draw. I see card draw being really important. we got to set up. Once we set up, we win the game, so... I think, at worst, by playing the Giant Head as bad as we did, we missed out on one Offering upgrade, which... We'll see if there's, uh... I, mean, I, w I wish I had a Battle Trance. I might even buy a Battle Trance here. I might even buy a Battle Trance here. I might even buy a Battle Trance here, he said. Did I call that upon myself? What about deck spot? Well, we could just buy a battle trench and use the explosive pie in this in the lead fight. Kanae proc is the least of my concerns. Once I'm going, let me explain why Kanae proc is so bad. Um, I have entrench. I go entrench and get infinite block and win the game of body slam. So Kanae proc for body slam is minuscule. So now we got to target uh, upgrade pot, dex pot. Fear not fear pot or battle trends here. Battle trends is pretty good because we need card roll, right? Card roll gets set up. It affects Dark Embrace, but on the turns where it doesn't affect Dark Embrace, it's drawing me three cards. Yeah, that's the Dark Embrace, sure, but once Dark Embrace is already played, well, battle trends is not even as important. Battle trends is to get to Dark Embrace. Or on the turns where I have Dark Embrace, but no exhaust cards. Whoa. Whoa. Power through Sever Soul? All we need is a sliver of my max HP left over, and then I win the game. Power through Sever Soul. Who's thinking? Who's feeling that? Yeah, so Battle Trance is for the first cycle, guys. The second cycle. I can have shit all, jack all in my deck. Entrench wins the game already. Sorry for my language. I guess it's a little bit, uh, my language is a little bit crude, but my point is first cycle is the name of the game. What do you want? To draw. Why do you want it? Set up. When you set up, you win the game. But let's, let's look at us what we have here, right? 
We have... Oh, we have this. I guess we... I, I'm already kind of saying we're not going to kill the shield. take all this damage. We already knew this. This is all part of the plan. I don't have barricade out yet though. Imagine having all this but no barricade. I guess we could look for barricade theoretically. Y'all want to look for barricade? Letting barricade. Barricade. And yeah, it feels good to be a gangster, a real OG kind of dude. Bottom of the deck, by the way. So how much are we green for feed here? I would say that uh, 80... I would say that 80... Well, okay, let's take a look. We're gonna be getting 9 block, 9 heal. 94 life is enough for the boss. Almost there. Oh, good job, Elo. It's a nice walk. I'm glad to hear it. White beast statue, blood pot. What? I thought this was. I thought this was disallowed. I thought it was disallowed. Blood pot's huge. Okay, I'm thankful. Mwah. But this is. I thought this was disallowed. Floor 55, White Beast? I could have swore they took that out of the code. Alright, we got some card draw. Question, do we double do pot pommel strike? What do we do potting? Do pot entrench, get set up. Maybe do pot uh, offering or something. Definitely don't do pot here. Evolve. Booyakasha, bro. So we can spend. Okay, we could get Kunai proc. And Kunai proc is good, let me explain why. Second win offers, operates off of Kunai. We did have an opportunity for Darkstone, yes. We keyed it. We got all the curses in the game. Okay. We can't be frail. And we get a dexterity proc, proc. So we, we lose energy. The two energy is huge for us. And we lose the two energy that we have, which helps us set up, in order for one dexterity. The one dexterity. So we can be vulnerable, which is going to be very bad next turn. But. We have a blood putt. And... If I get this dexterity, second wind is immediately filling the dividends, right? We get second wind, which can be huge, and then entrench is even bigger on top of that, and it all starts snowballing in my favor. But I feel like the energy is so important in the early part until I'm set up that we just pass. Thank you. Get Reaper out of the deck and get the other curse out of the deck, but... So we can second wind offering here, we could also... Sorry, we can double pot offering. 
and really dig for everything, we can also double shockwave. Double offering drops six. Um, well, once we set up, the game's over. Oh, I forgot to put it back on. So I had to nuke my mod the spire because my game was crashing. And because I had to nuke mod the spire, the relic thing is off. My bad. I'll put it back on for the next run. <clears throat> Do we want to do pot here for offering or do I mean we don't know if we need to do it or not. This is a, a good place to do pot though. Get, get a full hand. Yeah, but since I have evolved, I might overdraw. We might overdraw, right? That's kind of bad. So maybe we save. Maybe we save it. So what? What would be the do pot then? Now maybe we um, maybe we just do pot in trench and get set up. So flamebird does a lot of damage here. But I'm saying I power through second win because we don't give a damn about the damage. And now we kind of wish we had double the uh, uh, offering because now we want the barricade in play. Look how much damage we have. Look how much block we have here. And if we have barricade in play, game's over. So what would I headbutt? I could headbutt the battle trance. I could headbutt the pummel strike. I could headbutt power through again. I could headbutt... I mean, Flame Barrier does damage, but once we're set up, we don't need Flame Barrier. Entrench just wins the game. And of course, we want to bite Barricade. Uh, do I even have it here, or do I just keep going? I keep going. Because we're going to draw into um, Offering anyways. And Dark Embrace, and then, yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think about is headbutting for, uh, for Power Through. Because Power Through Second Wind can exist. That's the only thing I'm thinking about, is headbutting for power through. I have all my curses and all my statuses at the bottom half of my deck. Thank the lord for blood fight. Oh boy. So, so what's going to happen is, I'm thinking power through so I can actually have some block with second wind and trench. Right? So if I were to headbutt anything, it would be that. In this cycle, we have bloodletting and offering for energy. So I can afford a power through, just to have some block for the entrench, yeah? And depending on the order, of course. We also have second wind fodder for block all the curses and statuses. So we need barricade. Just waiting for barricade and, and dark embrace. No big deal. Turn three. Hi kids, welcome to the bottom half of the deck. I'll be your host. Finally. So do we finally do, do, pay, do pot, dark embrace? Or we, do we, I think we want to save for a do pot and trench, right? Dark embrace draws two cards, every exhaust. Oh boy, that's, that's overdrawing like crazy. When in reality, we need, now we need to get the entrench rolling because the weakens are gone. So maybe I should have done do pot for the shock with weaken because the weakens gone right now. But the whole point is that I should have entrench 900, 999 block and just end the game. But.
I'm looking for headbutt. I'm looking for headbutt. Now we can get Kunai proc. There's the headbutt. That's your boy. Jeremiah on the sticks. Coming at you live and direct. Kunai proc. And tell me you're gonna win now. Huh? Win. Where? So guys, you guys remember that took Clash early game? You guys, did anybody remember that? GG! And the blood puzzle not even necessary because the body slams here and it's ready to take the heart for our win streak and the easiest damn game of my life. And then I turned in the class for an ice cream. That was great, yeah. I mean, it's such a... Just don't do what I did against the giant head. I just... It's like... Giant head was... Scarring. Scarring. Scarring.